in this video we will cover example 4 from section 3.7 so here it says a rectangular page is to contain 95 square inches of print the margins on each side are one inch find the dimensions of the page such that the least amount of paper is used now if we're talking about paper we're talking about um, it doesn't have really necessarily a width so if they're trying to find the least amount of paper, that means they're trying to minimize the area of that paper. Okay, and the area of a paper, well, a paper is a rectangle, right? So it would be length times width. However, we do need to get this in just one variable before we can actually take the derivative of it. Now, they did give me some information here. So they told me that the page um, is going to have 95 square inches of print. Okay, before I even talk about that, let's continue with the next sentence. It says the margins on each side are one inch. So basically what that means is that my print is all here, right? And the margins all around the page are one inch, which means if I box my print, right, this is one inch, this is one inch, this is one inch, and this is one inch, okay? And there's my print in there. And this print is actually 95 square inches, which is an area, right? Okay, so wow, this one has a lot of um, secondary equations actually, to be honest. Okay, so one thing that we know is that the area of the print, right? So we'll call the, because this is little l or big L, this is big L and big W, which is also what these are capital L and capital W, okay? Now for the area on the inside, I'm gonna call this one, actually these are probably backwards, right? Because the page is probably longer lengthwise than it is wide, so those are backwards. Now, this length here is gonna be little l, and this width here is going to be little w, okay? So when it comes to this 95, that's found by doing little l times little w. And I can solve for one of those variables. I can divide both sides by w. Doesn't matter which one you use. So I get that 95 divided by little w is little l. Now, how do we use that when it comes to the capital L and the capital W? Well, that's where the margins come into play because this equation could be capital L is this entire length here, which means it's one inch plus little l plus another inch. Or another way of saying that is to say little l plus two. Capital W is this width here, which consists of one inch, little w, and another inch. Which means little w plus two. And we can get this into a um, single variable by using this information here. So A equals 95 over little w plus two. And little w plus two is still there. And so we can FOIL this out. 95 over W times W is just 95. 95 times, 95 over W times two is 190 over W. Two times W is two W, and then two times two is four. So if I simplify this and rewrite it, I will have 190 w to the negative 1 plus 2 w plus 99. Now to maximize or minimize, I do have to take the derivative of this. 
So I will get 190 times negative 1 w to the negative 2 plus 2 plus 0. If I simplify this, I get 190 over w squared plus 2. Let's get a common denominator. So we have one big fat fraction. So we get negative 190 plus 2 w squared over w squared. So if I set my numerator equal to 0 and my denominator equal to 0, here I can add 190 to both sides. I can divide by 2 on both sides. I can take the square root on both sides. And so I get plus or minus square root of 95. And here, take the square root on both sides and I get 0. So I have three answers. I have w equal to negative square root of 95, w equal to positive square root of 95, and w equal to 0. But for a piece of paper, it doesn't make sense to have a zero width. And for, again, a piece of paper, it doesn't make sense to have a negative width. But here we have a positive one, so this one is more feasible. So that's little w. If I want to find what little l is, I can plug it into this formula here. So 95 over square root of 95 will give me little l. I do have to rationalize these. I cannot leave them like that. So then I get 95 square root of 95 divided by the square root of 95 squared, which is just 95 divided by square root of 95 over 95, which is just the square root of 95. Again, maximizing or minimize a rectangle, guess what? We ended up with the square again, right? But these are not the dimensions that they asked me about. They didn't say find the dimensions of the print. Because little l and little w are just the dimensions of the little print. They asked me to find the dimensions of the page, the whole page. So what they wanted to know was what is big L? Well, big L, we realized, was little l plus 2. So square root of 95 plus 2. And big W was little w plus 2, which means square root of 95 plus 2. Now they did say it was 95 square inches, so this would be in inches and this would be in inches. And if they do ask you to round your answers, um, take the square root of 95 first, then add 2. So it's approximately 11.747 inches. And the same for the width.